What's up? I'm Danielle Robay with the Red Carpet Report, and we are here at the Secret Room Gifting Suite in honor of this year's Emmy Awards. As the celebs roll in, we're going to talk to them about style tips, beauty secrets, and how they get ready for all their red carpet events. Okay. Yeah. Michael, you're a Chicago boy. I'm a Chicago girl. You started in the Steppenwolf Theater. How do you like L.A.? You know, honestly, um, I've been here for a long time, and I, um, I like Los Angeles, but um, over time, it, it's hard to live here. It's, uh, the entertainment industry is kind of not what it used to be when I started out. Um, it's funny, you get out of L.A. and get out of Hollywood, and uh, all the values and all the, the things that people dream about are still going on in the rest of the country, but um, everybody's kind of overwhelmed by reality television and, and um, entertainment channels that thrive on people's misery, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's really sad, and... Uh, it's kind of um, not something I want in my life. I always thought you'd be respected for your, your work and your job, but no one seems to really care about that. It's, it's more about, like I didn't really become an actor to become famous, but fame is the only thing that anybody really cares about. And it, fame has become more important than any, anything that anybody does to get there. You know what I'm saying? I do. It's I'm not trying to be grim at a, at a, at a, a gifting suite, but, you know, it's, uh, it's true. Well, fame aside, you've been in some incredible movies. Sure. And um, I wanted to know if there was any word on Sin City 2 or The Expendables. Well, I'm not in either one of those, thank God. Um, <laughs> I was in the first uh, Sin City, and I don't think I'm old enough for The Expendables yet. Uh, or am I? I don't know. Um, all those guys in Expendables are great actors, and I wish them uh, all the luck on their franchise. Um, it seems to have been doing pretty well up to now. Um, I'm just trying to stay busy. What I are you staying busy from, with? I just come back from Russia. Um, I was working on a picture in Russia, and uh, I did a thing called Moscow Express, and I'm going to do a couple episodes of Hawaii Five O in uh, December. I got a feature coming out called Lumberjack Man. That's um, pretty good. You got excited about that one, why? Oh, well, it's, it's uh, I mean, I play a, a kind of a character that I don't usually do. You know, I'm usually some sort of nefarious bad guy and in that, in that thing, I'm, I'm a, uh, a, <laughs> A, a confused detective with kind of a, a mixture between uh, Barney Fife and Columbo, if you can imagine. <laughs> it feels good to be on the right side of the law? Sure, yeah. Everybody wants to be <laughs> on the right side of the law, don't they? Yeah. I think it's, it's uh, I've been on the other side long enough, let's face it. <laughs> Are you doing any theater? No, uh, I got a... My good friend David Carradine used to say that um, we're just farmers and I have a lot of cattle to feed, so I, uh, I'd love to do theater, but I can't take care of my family. It doesn't really pay the bills. <laughs> that makes sense. I got a big overhead. <laughs> and um, it seems like acting really runs in your blood, like it just, it comes from within. Have you, did you always want to be an actor? Were you ever thinking about other career paths? You know what, it's the only thing I can tolerate. <laughs> I, I was a, a tow truck driver and an auto mechanic and I um, worked for landscaping companies and I worked as a lot of, I mean, I, I did a lot of things that are, went to school to be an ambulance attendant and I, I, um, I kind of lucked into the um, film acting thing. But it's very, I, it's a, I'm very grateful. It's a wonderful life, and uh, it's um, you have to really want to do it. Put it that way. If you're going to stick with it, you got to really like it. It has to be the thing that you. I guess, by the time I was a little boy, I I liked um, 
watching old movies and I like Humphrey Bogart and Lee Marvin and uh, some of those character guys, you know. So to kind of come full circle, you talked about how you're not really into the whole Hollywood and all the hype. When you go home, what makes Michael Madsen happy? Oh, my, my seven-year-old son right there and my motorcycles and uh, just being a dad. That's all I have left. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. It was really nice to talk to you. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. And for more interviews, click subscribe. And leave me a comment below and let me know your best style tip. I'm dying to know.